Jade, thanks for joining us. New season, Division One cricket. Sorry, how do you feel? Sorry, prepared for uh, for that step up. Um, obviously, I think it's been a long time coming. Um, you know, it's taken a long process in order for us to get there. Uh, there's a lot of steps which have had to be, be put in place. You know, Chris Adams has done a fantastic job along with Ian Salisbury in getting the squad together, which you know we thought that we'd need to, to get ourselves back up to Division One. And um, you know, Division Two, it was a tough season last year. We went right down to, to the wire. You know, the, the number of games won and stuff like that. So it was obviously a fantastic opportunity and great, great for us to get back into Division One. But now um, the hard work really starts for us. So a big game next week here at Lords against Middlesex, the London derby. You must feel that's an early opportunity to get one up on your big rivals. Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, unfortunately, over the last couple of years, uh, Middlesex have really gone over us. Um, I think we got turned over here in about three days last year, I think we remember. And I think again the year before that. So, um, in the last couple of years, they got the better of us. But I think you know we've assembled a great squad again this year. And uh, likes of Jack, Jack Rudolph coming in as our overseas player for the first part of the year is obviously going to be fantastic. And um, you know if you can get some early wins under your belt, especially when the pitch is maybe a, t a touch green or something, and maybe a little bit more seamer friendly. You know these are the times you really want to make use of those conditions. So as a bowler, um, who on the county circuit is the wicket that you prize most? Um, it's going to be a bit different this year. I think I've not come across too many of the, of the first division batters um, of late. But um, you know, any time you can take a wicket and, and be successful, I think it, it's, it's a great it's a great thing for yourself and for the teams. So I think you know this year there's going to be a lot of different challenges we're going to be posed. Um, you know, obviously the cricket's going to be that that much tougher now in Division One. So um, I'm just looking to, to get a good start to the year and hopefully take as many wickets as I can, no matter who they are. Fantastic. Good winter for you this year. Um, continued England involvement. Do you feel established in the One Day team? Um, I don't know about established. I think um, as it proved, you know, when, when the likes of J Jimmy Anderson and stuff are coming back, and, and Brody comes back into the side, you know, it's, there's a strong, there's a strong lineup there. And uh, I only got my opportunity right at the end in that one-day series over in Pakistan. And you know, I was just happy that I managed to, to, to bowl well and take some wickets and obviously win the game in the end. But um, no, I'd like to think I, I, I'd be in and around that squad and, and just, um, you know, if I, if I keep producing for Surrey, I think that those sorts of things will, will take care of themselves. But um, I think I'm getting more more at home with, with the international sort of scene in terms of one-day cricket. You know, you, you're going to learn through experiences, and, and luckily I've had an, enough opportunities now to experience a lot of different uh, different situations. And you know, thankfully I've come through on top of those. And you know, there's going to be plenty more of, of those sort of tests to come in the future, and hopefully there is. Big summer ahead. Three ODI series this year: West Indies, Australia, and South Africa. Uh, England have an excellent form at home, uh, one day wise. Do you feel that the ODE team is de has developed well under under Captain Cook? Yeah, definitely. I think um, obviously it was a transition period once he took over, and it was always going to be you know difficult settling in as him for himself. You know, learning his game again in, in one day cricket. But I think he's done an outstanding job, and it just shows the results in which we, we, we we've proved them and provided. Um, I think, like you said, at home, you know, conditions do tend to suit us, and recent results would suggest that, that we're quite successful here. So, you know, we're very much looking forward to, to those three teams coming over and testing ourselves once again. You know, Australia and South are going to be some, some very big tests for us. And, but um, I think we're definitely ready. We've had a squad of players now which have stayed together for, for a period of time, you know, sort of last six, seven months. And that's only going to that's only going to help, you know, when the guys are together, sort of knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses, and just knowing competition for places is always there. So, you know, a very exciting summer, and uh, a lot going on, and, and a lot to look forward to. And then we roll into the autumn T20 World Cup in Sri Lanka. You must be hoping to be part of that. Yeah, you know, fingers crossed. If I can have a good a good summer now, with obviously all those series coming up, it's obviously going to put me in good stead. And you know, for, for any boy playing cricket, or it's anyone's dream to, to be selected for a World Cup squad for your country, and, and that's you know what I'm looking forward to doing. And if I do get opportunity, I hopefully grab with both hands, and uh, we can retain that that trophy in which we, we rightfully want. Fantastic.